here we are in this beautiful coastal rainforest area going down a very steep hill mountain This is a remote area, so primitive, and it's going to lead us to the coast. It's always easier to go up than to go down. Yes, ma'am, are you okay? Now, oh God. So here we are in this pristine rainforest, coastal lowland rainforest, and then now we're where the ocean is, and then you can see what's here. I thought every, it would be nice if everything was as beautiful as it looked coming down the mountain to come here, but um, you can see all this trash It's washed ashore. Styrofoam, plastic, It's a lot of garbage. A lot of styrofoam. Wow. Bottles. So what's the, once again, uh, in a remote area, what should be pristine and clean is covered with plastic. There's so much plastic in the ocean. It breaks down, it goes into the land when there's storms and surges of water and typhoons and hurricanes in the Caribbean or you know in other areas. But it uh, goes from the land to the sea and from the sea back to the land. Always breaking down into smaller particles that fish eat, that invertebrates consume, that seabirds consume, marine mammals, turtles. It all ends up in the food chain with humans consuming it. It's 
is a massive problem. It's non-biodegradable plastic waste, bags, wrappers, chip wrappers, candy wrappers. And here it is, the beautiful ocean, teeming with life, teeming with plastic that destroys life. So we are firm believers that people have to be employed to clean up this huge mess that people have created. But it's got to be fought on many fronts. It's got to be fought on changing the use of plastic materials and waste management, especially in the developing world, and employing an army of people, There's so many people in poverty that need work that can clean this. Yeah. Beach forest. Yeah. The garbage where? Inside the beach forest. The garbage inside the beach forest? Yeah. This is the beach forest. It's called this is beach forest. It's called the beach forest. Yeah, beach forest. Okay, look. Uh, it's very pretty here. Yeah, very pretty. See the seagrass there? Yeah. This is our the par part of our marine monitoring this site. Uh, there's so much garbage though, it's you know. Yeah, so much garbage there. If you go behind I don't want to step on these plants, but if you go behind these plants back there there's if I can do this without stepping on anything. Much more there's, on garbage there. Yeah. Anyway, behind here, and if you move the litter, there's a lot more waste. If you just look from this angle, you don't see how, how much plastic there is, but then when you just start looking closer, it's everywhere. It's really out of control. It's got to be cleaned. It's just harming everything. A lot of this garbage, it just gets gets washed ashore from the ocean and breaks down, keeps going into smaller pieces, like this piece of plastic here. It's a fishing net. Oh, a butterfly. You don't see any too much of this in the world anymore. 
beach forest. Not already degraded and overdeveloped. But the plastic is everywhere. Plastic bags, food wrappers, a lot of garbage. Plastic littering the stream flowing into the into the sea. Plastic straw, plastic bottles. Plastic There's a little stream it goes into the ocean and Piles and piles of garbage, plastic, accumulating, washed here. Goes from the sea to the land, the land to sea, just breaking down, never disappearing, never degrading, just poisoning the planet. It should be a beautiful rainforest, coastal lowland rainforest, one of the last in the world. And like everything, it's getting degraded, overdeveloped, and badly polluted with plastic trash and other trash, non-biodegradable trash. People have to make a choice, kill each other over religions and politics and all this other stuff that accomplishes nothing, or start cleaning up this world and protecting it and caring about our environment because we have no future if we keep trashing the planet like we've been doing. There'll be no future, not for humanity, not for wildlife, not for so much will be lost, being lost already. The ocean should give an abundance. It shouldn't be the harbor of human trash and waste. A big trash pin filled with plastic, breaking down, polluting everything. If this continues, there will be no future for humanity and so much other animals and creatures that live in this world. <laughs>